Hello everybody, you are welcome to my YouTube channel and I'm very excited to share with you another interesting piece of branding identity which is letterhead design. So as you can see on your screen, we you have this you know, cool and simple yeah, but appealing letterhead design for this fictional group I call um, Bruna Quills Group. So a couple of weeks ago, I started a series on branding where I covered the logo design and the t-shirt design. For this same group, I will provide the link to those tutorials in the description below. So without wasting any further time, let's dive into what we have for today. So I start by creating a new document. I already have a preset here with 8.5 inches height, 11 RGB color mode. Then I click on create. So the next thing I want to do is to come over here to get my solid color. I don't like this white background. Then I pick my color code from here. I already have a color. I copy and I paste. Okay, then the next thing I want to do is to pick my pen tool. Then I zoom in so we can see what we are doing. Okay, then I click on here and I go up a bit, click and drag. Then while holding my Alt key, you can see it's converted to a triangle. Then I drag a bit downwards. Then see while holding my Alt key, I click on this, drag downwards too. Then I create a node here. I also come here, I click and drag downwards. Okay, let me control click here so this node comes out. Yes, you can see I press my Alt key and this pointer has converted to a triangular sign. Then all I need to do is to click and drag. Yes, something like this. Let me still click and drag it a bit while holding the Alt key. Don't forget to hold down the Alt key. Okay, this is too big. Let me just reduce it a bit. And this is perfect. Then I drop my pen tool. I click on the shape. I drag it down a bit. Then next, I want to change the color. I click on P to bring out my pen tool, then I go upward here, click on fill, click on this, and let me bring in my first shade of color. I copy, I paste, then I click on OK. I work with this color shade first of all, then I duplicate this layer by clicking on or holding down Ctrl J. Ctrl J. So I've duplicated this layer. Then I go give it a color. Let me give it a color overlay. Yes, I have a color code for it. I let me pick it. My color shade two. Copy. I paste. Then I click on OK. Okay, then I use my arrow key to shift it up a bit so you can see you can see this kind of um, 3D effects. I click on Ctrl T or hold down. Why do I keep saying click? I hold down Ctrl T on my keyboard, then I adjust it a bit, adjust it a bit, then I click on this checkup. Let me shift it upwards a bit. Okay. Then next, I hold E or I press E on my keyboard to toggle on my eraser tool. You can see it here, eraser to E. It's good to know the shortcuts in your head. It's a huge time saver. So I click on this shape to rasterize. You can see this shape layer must be rasterized. I click on OK. Then make sure the hardness is at 100%. Make sure it's at 100. The opacity 100, flow 100. Then I 
click to erase this a bit a bit um, okay let me just ctrl z or something like this is cool then i drag my tool okay let me still readjust this a bit hold down ctrl t then i adjust it a bit then i use my arrow key and shift it to the right I don't like how it looks like. Fine, this is okay. This is okay by me. Okay, so next I'm going to duplicate this shape again by holding down Ctrl J. Then click on the color overlay. Then I bring in my other color, the light thing. I copy. Sorry. I paste okay so this is it then I use my arrow key the up arrow key to shift it upwards so you can see how it looks like so I bring in my eraser tool again to erase a portion out of it I do that by pressing E then I click on it let me adjust it again, Ctrl T, adjust the size and the arrangements. Let me bring this down a bit. This. Okay, this is okay. Okay, so I hold down these three layers together by clicking on the first holding down shift. Then I move them with my arrow tool collectively. I think this is okay. Then I go to my pen tool, click on the pen tool, click on this point, click on this point, click on this point, then I click on this point, then join it up here, then drop my pen tool. Now let me take it below, so I click and drag it below the first shape, that's shape one, you can see. Let me still readjust it with my arrow tool so it won't show. So I need to change the color. So I click on P, click on fill, click on this. Let me pick in my color code. Don't worry, I have this in the description box below. I'm going to use the dark thing. I copy, I paste. Okay, wow. Wow, you can see it's very beautiful. So let's bring in our logo. I click on File, Place Embedded. This is our logo, Place. I go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Okay, Ctrl T. Again, let's adjust it to something like this. Okay, then I click and drag upwards here. It's just, it's just me trying to be a little bit creative. Then let me zoom out. Okay, let me adjust it a bit like this. Then, yes, this is okay. This is perfect. Let me use my left arrow key to adjust this the position. Okay, fine. Yes, there we have it. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to apply a color to this. So I can do that by going to my gradient tool, this paint bucket to G. Click on it. I come over here. I will use the same color. So I use my eyedropper tool to pick the color. Then I click on OK. Then click on the logo to apply the color then click on ok to rasterize it ok then i click on it you can see it has converted to the color i want so now i do the same thing for the other parts let me pick this color click on ok let me zoom in so we can see better then i click on this you can see the color has been applied ok 
I would love to make one or two adjustments before we continue with our video. So I click on this layer, the shape one. Let me zoom in. Okay. Then I toggle on my pen tool or I pick it on from here. And I click on one of the nodes by holding down control. I hold down the alt key. I want to shift it in a bit. So I'll have this kind of um, a staircase. Okay. Then I drop my pen tool. Then I still click on the shape again. Let's give it a drop shadow. A drop shadow. Okay, I give the value of I use the value of 18 for the distance. The spread will be zero, then I'll keep it as 35 for the size. Let's see what that will do. Okay. So you can see this cool shadow effect. Very cool. Nice. Okay, let me shift this up a bit. Okay, this is this is fine, perfect. Okay, so let's bring in our content for this designer. I've already prepared a content for us to use. I'm going to keep it in a folder where I will upload it to my Google Drive so you can easily download it. Everything will be in the link in the description below. So I open this up. You can see we already have our content here. It's just a simple, you know, simple write-up. The logo, we have the, the on the name of the company, the dates, who is referring to the that is the name of the person. Um, then some dummy words. So I'll just click on this all and copy them. Okay, that is Ctrl C. Then I paste Ctrl V. Boom, we have it here. So, okay, let me go through. I don't want the video to be very long, so that's why I just copied it and pasted because it's a very simple process, very, very simple process. So, what I did here was just to bold the dates. Then I got a dummy test from Lorem Ipsum. See, you can see it's gibberish, it doesn't really make sense, so I just copied it to fill in. Then the signature, I used the fonts. A font of Excellentia in AXC regular. I will drop the fonts also in the description below. Then I created an an ellipse here where I put my icon, my icon of phone for the contacts. Then also the World Wide Web logo and the location. Then I just you know I made a color overlay as you can see here. I made the color overlay effect can see I can change it to white whatever I want so that's what I did and it's as easy as that so with this you have come to the end of this tutorial please don't forget to leave your questions your contributions your reviews in the comment box below and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos and god bless you all thank you